Now, if this is, I'm going to be talking about five people in the fairy tale series that might be able or that will be able to defeat Laxus at the end of the series. So let's go. Coming in at number five is Urza. Now, Urza and Laxus, even from the beginning of Fairy Tale, they've always been somewhere around the same level. They were both really high uh, mages. I remember at one point they were like the only people in the guild at the time who were allowed to like go upstairs, and it was funny because Laxus back then he was such an asshole. I still like them because he was a lovable asshole. But I do think that when it's all said and done, that Urza and Laxus they will be able to go toe to toe, and it's going to be a great fight if they did actually fight because they're so evenly match in, mo in many different ways but i do think that urza will be able to take it coming in at number four is gajio yes gajio now we know that they've had a shaky past before we saw that after gajio crucified levy he came out here to start beating his ass he was like well, how dare you let someone like that in the guild and that was that was to be honest that was one of the greatest moments in fairy tale because gajio didn't even fight back he was just letting up the hit him and if you look at it from a point of view gajio was low-key taking those hits like he was eating them he was like are you done yet he just kept on getting hit over and over but now that gajio has gotten stronger i do think that he wouldn't let something like that happen to him again no 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 Gajio will be able to stand his ground and i do think that he'll be able to put up a good fight against him coming in at number three is natsu now the reason why i have natsu on here is because he realized that even when him and Gajil worked together to beat him, that he was on a whole nother level. I mean, back in the Battle of Fairy Tale arc, they stood no chance. Hence why Natsu, as soon as he got them fighting him, he was like, yo, let's go again. And it was funny because Laxis saw him as fodder. He was like, okay, get out of here. And I really do like the relationship between Natsu and Laxis. It's because Natsu, it seems like that he he kind of looks up to him in a sense. And he wants to spot. Like, that's one of the biggest goals besides Guild Arts for him. Like, the day that Natsu can say that he's stronger than Laxis. He's going to be crazy. He's going to be freaking out. And not to mention the fact that after the time skip, Natsu, he's definitely one of the strongest people. Although it is Natsu's strength is a little bit miscalculated because we remember when they first met Ajil, they were struggling against them, all five of the main cast. But Laxis came in there and dropped a thunder bomb like it was nothing. And that that made me think that hey, even though Laxis he might not be getting as much shine as Natsu, you can't sleep on him. Coming in at number two is Gildarts. Now, I love the relationship between Gildarts and Laxis. It's kind of like an old friendship type of thing. Even though Gildarts is seemingly a grown man and Laxis is like a, I guess say an early adult. But remember back in the Temporal Island arc, Gildarts was laughing at his ass. He was like, ah, you're retarded for getting kicked out of the guild for doing this dumb shit. And Laxis got mad. So I, I want to see some type of backstory between these two because they talk as if they're familiar with each other. They talk as if they're friends. So I really do enjoy that aspect and i do think that gildars will be able to fight and take out laxes now before i get into number one i want to give off an honorable mention i'm going to say makarov now the reason why i didn't have makarov up here is because while i do think that he might have been able to beat him like earlier on i don't think that where uh, laxus is right now that makarov would be able to stand a chance because granted makarov he was hyping him up he, he was or he was hyping up the spring in 12 and he was scared of them but laxus he was able to take one out by himself well, kind of by himself so you could kind of say that's an edge another honorable mention i want to give out to is hey Hades. Now, even though Hades is defeated, we do know that him and Laxis, they've been butt head. I listen, I know I've said that I love relationships, but I really love the relationship between him and Hades simply because he reminds me so much of Yuri. And those two, listen, Laxis' appearance versus Hades was my one of my favorite scenes of fairy tale. Now, let's get into number one wall itch now anime only they might not know who this is but the manga readers they know who this is wall itch he was a member of the spree in 12 who fought laxes one-on-one -on -one. and let's be honest here had it not been for freed's little uh rune had it not been for his enchantment laxes would have lost i mean wall itch had the upper hand the whole battle he was able to use poison him and all that stuff he knew laxes's weakness and like i said laxes i don't want to say he got lucky but he actually planned out ahead and he was actually able to he defeated him using his uh his mind but i do think that if these two got into a one-on-one -on -one, laxis will not come out the winner but that's basically it for these five people who defeat laxis let me know who do you guys think could defeat laxis in the comment section down below peace out